This is so cool. Wow, feels like a sports car. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Well, today we're gonna test drive the Lamborghini Urus. I'm told it's the hottest car on the planet. As a matter of fact, most dealers have none in inventory, but lucky for us, we got our hands on one and it's right there. And I can't wait to test drive it. So I'm told this is the fastest SUV on the planet. One you can tow your boat, go on a track, or just cruise to work every day. And it is so stylish. Wow. Guess we need the key. Let's go get the key. It's a pretty cool exposed car in there. Gotta stay focused. Yours, yours. No more Bugatti. Let's go. <laughs> you know what happens when you bring a kid to a candy store? You walk out with a bunch of candies. No, I'm not much of a Ferrari fan. I think the only Ferrari I would ever buy is F40 and an Enzo. Oh, LaFerrari. Oh, okay, LaFerrari too. <laughs> F50? F50 is cool, but, not F40. but it's not an F40. Yeah. F40 is like the last car Enzo Ferrari was you know, involved with mm -hmm. building. Thanks for making this happen. Absolutely, my pleasure. I'm excited to try this. So this is the hottest SUV on the planet right now. At the moment it is, yeah. Right? And you can't get your hands on any new cars. New or used, they're very, very hard to come by. Wow. Well, let's see what it's all about. Yeah. What's all, all right. the hype about? How many horsepower? 650 horsepower. 650? But uh, you got over 600 pound-feet of torque on the car as well. Yeah. So the car launches off the line really well. It's all-wheel drive and it's all-wheel steering. So it doesn't feel like a big heavy SUV. Mm -hmm. The rear wheels are helping maneuver the car around at yeah. slow speeds and also helping maneuver it at fast speeds. Yeah. So it's a super fast tank. Basically. Yeah, they, they call it a super SUV. A wow. SSUV. Yeah. Oh, very cool. So the first of its no. kind. Can I put two car seats in the back? You can. There's, there's car seat clips back wow. there. There's anchors. Cool. Um, you can also spec the car as a four seat configuration if you want, so you can have more of like captain seats in the rear. I see, with and the divider. Yep. yep, and then there's multimedia screens that you can also install for entertainment in the rear as well. Very cool. Um, and then you still have luggage capacity in the rear. Wow, so pretty quite, roomy. Yeah, quite a bit of space yeah. back here. You can remove this, and then you have seats that fold down, or yeah. you can just fold down like a pass through if you want. So if you have long skis or, yeah. or something, you can put it through there. Very cool. All right. Well, let's take it for a spin. Sure. Best part. First, let's start it up. So, flip up your fighter jet switch right there. Oh, that is cool. This is so cool. And the lower screen is going to be all your HVAC control. So, it's going to control air conditioning, uh, pat all your uh, ventilated seats, heated seats, all right. and where the air goes. You also have garage door openers and smart keys that you can program cool. down there. Well, all I care about is this right here. You see, this is why I'm changing my daily driver. My car doesn't have Bluetooth. And I, I'm on the phone all the time. Oh, jeez. Yeah, so, so on the left these. hand side here, yeah. so your Anima uh, selector. Mm -hmm. So, Strata is going to be normal. Sport will stiffen up the suspension, yeah. and then Corsa, of course, will stiffen it up. It also changes the ride height of the car in each of those modes, uh -huh. and it changes the um, the shifting points with the mm -hmm. transmission and also your throttle responses. Mm -hmm. And it can also operate the way the traction control works on the car. Okay. Then you have three off-road modes as well, which are optional on the car, but this one was selected with it. You have Sabia, Terra, and Neve, which is going to be for uh, if you're in mud if you're in sand yeah. or if you're in ice and snow. Wow. Um, but that also increases the ride height of the car for ground clearance. Mm -hmm. And then if you like the way the car drives, let's say the suspension in strata mode, but you want the powertrain modes from Sport or Corsa, just like what we saw in the Aventador, you can go yeah. into your Ego modes, which is on the right-hand side. Yep. Yeah. And then you can use those three buttons and you can select things from your transmission, your engine settings, yeah. to your steering, and then your suspension is. And you wow. push those buttons, it, there's three settings for each one. So we so, don't want to go four by. We want to do probably Corsa, right? Yeah, we can run in Corsa. Wow. So you have much higher RPM. Listen to the uh, sound. In the red exhaust. line, it'll hold the gear a lot longer before it shifts. 
if you leave it in auto mode. Otherwise, if you put it in manual mode, then of course you use the paddles to control when the car changes. Um, you're in automatic mode. If you okay. want to go into manual and use the paddles, then you just hit the M right there and you'll go into a manual setting. Wow, so many options. Paddles. I love it. Yeah. Honestly, it's like plain. Wow. Buckle up, guys. <laughs> I don't know if I have like an option of a six point harness back here, but uh, <laughs> I forgot my helmet. Oh. Wow, sounds so good. So you'll notice that you have this car was option with the heads up display. So you'll see up in your windscreen you have a heads up uh -huh. display. Oh, yeah, right there. Um, cool. For people uh, that are taller or shorter, you can adjust yeah. that so that you can see it easier. Wow. Honestly, it doesn't feel like an SUV. No. It feels like a sports car. An elevated sports yeah, car. Yeah, massive carbon ceramic brakes. These are the largest brakes of any production vehicle that we currently have on the market. You're kidding. Um, wow. So very similar to probably the size that you uh, have on your Chiron. Amazing. So what's the gas mileage? Who cares about gas mileage? <laughs> well, I sold my Tesla. I wasn't paying for <laughs> gas. So I'm a little bit concerned, you know? So yeah. this, this is right now the uh, sports mode, the fastest will go, right? Yeah, that's the most aggressive setting. Uh, stiffest yeah. suspension setting and highest with red line and throttle response. Awesome. And on the upshift, you'll get a really hard hit on the upshifts if you keep your foot in it. Let's keep our foot in it and see what happens. It's got to be 400 pages. So what do these go for? Like fully optioned out uh, versus base? Fully optioned car, you're probably going to be somewhere in the 265 to 285 range, depending on how much carbon fiber you want to put in the vehicle. Ah, carbon fiber. But if you just want all the creature comfort controls and stuff, you yeah. can probably get into a, a nicely optioned car for 260, 265. 260, okay. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. I mean, you imagine you buy, uh, you know, in, uh, any Lambo, you're going to put probably 300 grand on the table, right? Yeah, you're in her so territory. You got, exactly. For pricing. And this you get SUV and a sports car. And they now offer a bunch of Lamborghini more uh, bright, crazy colors. So greens, oranges, blues, reds, things that people expect from a Lamborghini. Yeah. Um, and they also just released a big selection of matte paints as well. So everything from like oh. matte grays and matte blacks Yeah. Um, that we're now starting to see people order. Very cool. You just drive the car like what? That. Just this is like quiet mode, mode. Auto. This isn't even the quiet mode. This is just this is kind of medium setting. So this is uh -huh. still going to give you some sporty suspension feel and gear shifts. Mm -hmm. A little bit softer suspension than what we were just in Corsa. A little bit higher yeah. ride height. Um, but a very nice drive. And especially in auto mode, you can just you don't have to think about it. Okay. Well, sounds like a plan. So what's a wait to get a car like this since everything's sold out? We're putting, uh, currently we're putting cars in for April production. Okay. So you'd that means you get it by July, July or early June. Oh, okay. Because yeah, it's, it's normally about four to six weeks to get them uh, here to the United States after they're built. Not bad. Oh wow, this drives so much better. What? Okay. Let's take it easy. I really like this. So can I get a used one at deep discount? You 
can get a used one at MSRP. <laughs> Are you kidding? No, I'm serious. Wow! They hold their value that great? They're, they've done a really good job of uh, supplying the market with just enough cars without oversupplying the U.S. market. So value Keep the demand up. Well. Yeah. Yeah. The demand's been good. Smart. And, and the, the main thing is everybody likes the car so much that nobody is, wants to sell or trade their cars. Wow. Uh, we just have well, I don't blame in. them. There is no other alternative if you want an SUV and with all these options, driving modes, fast, stylish. Oh, that's cool. It's like a video game. Is it going to beep before I hit the wall? Don't hit the wall. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, Nick, thank you so much for letting me drive this amazing SUV. Drive it? I thought you were buying it. I know. <laughs> It's an amazing car. Thank you again. Absolutely, my pleasure. All right. I'll uh, be in touch. Right. Send me the configurator. Just bring your checkbook. All right, I will. <laughs> this car comes with so many bells and whistles. I don't know any other SUV that can match it. But thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like my video. And until next week, be safe, be well, and God bless you. People always ask me how I made my money. You see the Bugattis, Paganis, and McLarens? I've got it all from doing real estate. I've been doing that for 30 years, buying, selling over $800 million. And now I'm here to teach you because you got to learn it to earn it. So check out the links below and see you there. thing's missing is topless. I may have to call my buddy Damon over to bring his saw and chop off the top. <laughs>